Shut your mouth, fat lady. Now, next week, the Royal Bush is going to prove why we the number one stable in professional wrestling by defeating y'all favorite. See, I don't have nothing to prove. I don't have nothing to prove at all, matter of fact. I know I'm good at what I do. But see, tonight, see, tonight, I'm going against one of them trans that I'm going to be stepping in the ring with, Lil T. See, just like Lil T, or Mike, or Black Cat, or whoever they are with them, whoever we'll step in that cage with the Royal Flush, one of them is going to leave out blood. I don't care which one it is, it can be Michael the Radio Clark, it can be Trash Lil T, it can be Daniel Morales, I don't care. Shut your mouth, little boy. You know what? Let's talk about Lil T. Lil T wants to be me. Lil T wants to be me. Lil T wants to be me. Lil T knows he can't be me. Because I'm better than him. I wrestle better than him. In this ring, I will beat him. I can walk out the front door right there and I still be him in the street. You know what? I'm done talking to his little husband, whatever that's going to be over there. Let's get Lil T out here right now. On the competitors here in this opening contest. Black Mamba Q from the Royal Flush going up against Little T here. So this match started Q saying that he's a better wrestler than Little T. Little T shortly after that came out and said that he's a better wrestler. Got a battle of some egos here. with that headlock not so tightly secured. Little T gets out of it and a shoulder tackle. Knocks down Little T. Q coming off the ropes and Little T kipped up. Oh! Picks up Black Mamba Q and slams him face first. Into that ring canvas. T picks Q back up. All right, off the ropes and a hip toss. Beautifully executed. As well as that drop kick. Only gets a one count, however. Q, a former wrestler of the year. Winning in the 2020 Charlie Awards. Be bested by Daniel Miraculous this past year. I'm sure if Q had a full stint all year round, he'd probably be up in, at least a runner up in that wrestler of the year. 
Richards got kicked out of the Royal Flush. You haven't seen him by about six months after that. Q charges after Little T on the apron. Little T, Tornado, DDT. Jumping off that bottom rope from the apron. Cinder Clark's maneuver there. With a little twist on it. Ice right, off the ropes. Q reverses, swing and a miss. Another swing, Little T ducks it twice, but ooh, gets hit with a drop kick. Smack dab in the center of the ring. Q going for a cover, not hooking the leg. Could have cost him. Only gets a two count. Q, of course, taking a moment to talk trash to the crowd. Something him and the, all the Royal Flush have in common. Whoa. Oh! Oh, Max Stunner. It connects, but in the spare few seconds here, you could have had to pin him. He chooses to talk to the crowd instead. Chin lock now applied. I want to tell everybody that we are here live in the VZA studio every single Friday night at 8 p.m. We invite you all to come out every single week. We're at 4275 Winchester Road. Suite 3594 between Perkins and Goodlit. And that's 4275 Winchester Road. Suite 3594, big spine buster for the Black Mamba Q. Kick out at two. Referee in position, little T. Just showing that he can kick out. He might just be the better wrestler in this match if he can pull this victory over the Black Mamba Q. All right, swoop off the ropes from Black Mama Q. Little T ducks a clothesline, ducks another backhand. Catches him this time. Side effect. Nails it. Both men down and out now. As I was speaking earlier, come on out to a Friday night show at 4275 Winchester Road. Sweet 3594, you can get your tickets online at facebook.com slash VCA Wrestling. Ooh! Back to the action, big clothesline there from Little T, and another one knocks down Black Mamba Q. He reverses the Irish whip, throws a right hand, and a sling blade! Sling blade connects, goes for the cover, and a kick out at two. Q signaling for the end. We see Q warming up that right leg of his. Go for that phantom kick. Little T catches him. Oh, drops him on that middle rope. Danny hit it. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, ring the bell. This one's over. Royal flush at it again. This match ending in disqualification. What a shame. Uh, Michael Clark out here to save his cousin from the Royal flush beatdown. Michael Clark, little T, fighting away. A Black Mamba Q take, trying to take control here. Tavis out here to break this even number up. Three on two now. Here goes a black cat. The black cat and Michael Clark and Little T all participating in that. It's just steel cage warfare. Next week at Broken Hearts. Black cat throws tank to the outside and hits hard on the concrete floor. Oh my goodness. Old Royal Flush gets sent to the outside. Black Cat, Michael Clark, Little T, stand tall in the ring. Thank you very much. But you know something? Uncle Cal is not here today. He has other things to attend to. How fortunate. 
But um, I'm here because he knows I take care of business. But I talked to my uncle Calvin. And he told me, he said, nephew, I need you to get as grimy as you can. He said, when you go out there, I want you to get that television championship. And you know what I told my uncle? I said, I'm going to do it. As a matter of fact, all of you doing this to Jared. This is not the two you made a championship. No, my friend. Anybody can get the TV championship. And you know who's the next, the great to get? That's me. And you know something, Jared? I tell you what, you got your pre bet you, you, you got your stupid family here. <laughs> Let me tell you something. What you need to do, and what you need to do, is you need to go home, back to your trailer park. You know, everybody ain't able. You're going to sit down at your little table where you eat your little dinner. And you sit him down, you give him a little glass of you, and you take the best shot of whatever you, whatever you drink every day, and you tell your pea brain son, and you say, Johnny, Johnny's gonna bust you up and break your heart. He's gonna make you bleed. He's gonna Come on. put your head all over that cage. Run her back. What you need to do, Jared, is Jared, you need to give the title up in four minutes to Johnny because I don't wanna look at you so terrible like that. And you know what I'm gonna do, Jared? I'm going to bust you up because you're on a grown man's land now. This isn't my station. And you're not going to leave with that championship belt because it's mine. And I guarantee you, you're not going to recognize it when I'm finished. Yee. The bell has rung. Singles Falls contest here. Daniel Miraculous going up against Johnny Ewing. I know there might be a little bit of a weight difference here. Johnny Ewing, former heavyweight champion. Daniel Miraculous, former junior beta champion. Johnny Ewing getting a little taste of what might come next week at Broken Hearts when he takes on Jared X. Rawlings inside of that steel cage. Heavyweight versus Junior. Ooh, throwing hair as an offensive maneuver. Smart strategy there from Daniel Miraculous. See that right there is the advantage for the smaller wrestlers, the Junior Vade of wrestlers, if you will. They do have speed over their heavyweights, and oftentimes that speed can overcome strength, depending how they, well, wrestle in the ring. Johnny Ewing looks to be dominant here early on. Big Stadium Miraculous up on that top turnbuckle. Charging in, ooh, a big boot from Daniel Miraculous. Right across the jaw of Johnny Ewing. Making a jaw, it's a big uppercut. I just knocked Johnny's loose, ooh. Another right hand shot in that forearm. The forearm from Daniel Miraculous is no joke. And it's got a metal plate infused inside of his arm. John Ewing holding on to those ropes. Pushes Daniel off, a swing and a miss. Another swing, doesn't get off. Oh, Daniel jumps over. Famouser connects and a kick out of two. Again, it's speed versus strength. But don't underestimate the strength of Daniel Miraculous either. He's one strong cookie. Ooh, right hand shot there right across the side of the head. Whoa! Throws Daniel to the outside onto the floor. That's 
despicable offensive maneuver if I must say so myself. Oh, someone about seven feet from inside on top of the ropes all the way to the concrete floor. It's a big game changer in this matchup. Johnny Ewing now just dragging Daniel in by the head. Right hand right across the jaw. Another one. Swings and hits. Constant shots across the face. Johnny Ewing now stomping away at Daniel in the corner. Putting all his body weight into the throat. Using his foot. Johnny Ewing grabbing Daniel by the neck. Picking him back up. Suplex position. Suplex connects. Johnny goes for a cover, hooks that leg, and gets a two count. Johnny Ewing, number one contender for that VCA television championship. He will wrestle for that television title against Jared X. Rawlings next week at Broken Hearts. Catch Broken Hearts on WREG TV. Of course, VCA Wrestling airing every Saturday night at 12.06, only on WREG-TV. Encourage everyone to tune in, set your DVRs. Join us for brand new episodes every Saturday night on WREG. Daniel swinging those right arms and right elbows and a big right arm clothesline knocks down Daniel Miraculous. You're rolling over on the shoulder of his, trying to make his way outside the ring to avoid any more carnage. Ooh, a guillotine on that bottom rope. Daniel now going to the outside. Give himself a breather, a chance to recover. In a game of strength versus speed, strength is winning here tonight. Can the same be said next week when Johnny goes up against Jared X. Rawlings? Johnny chasing up after Daniel Miraculous on the outside of the ring. Right knee strikes across the midsection before throwing Daniel back into the ring. Throws the arms down, goes for the cover, and gets a two count. Daniel Miraculous makes his way back up to his feet, but the roll still applied. And Johnny, there he is, bringing him right back down. Daniel looks like he might be gasping for air. Referee checking in on Daniel, making sure he's able to continue. Make sure he's not losing any consciousness. Johnny Ewing speaking to Jared's loyal fans at ringside. One more time, the head falls, no, the hen rises up. Much like Daniel Miraculous right here, up on his feet and a jawbreaker breaks free from the hold. Desperate maneuver, but no Johnny Ewing. Walks it right back in. Daniel hits it a second time. This time really breaking the hold. Johnny Ewing holding on to that jaw of his. Swing and a miss on Daniel Miraculous. Daniel swings and ducks. Right around close line. Barely knocks down Johnny, but the second one does it. Gotta get some air time for that one. Pulls Johnny Ewing down one more time. And ooh, a kick out at two, just barely. Right arm close line really Knocked and dazed, the Memphis Cowboy. Nice rip off the rope, no, oh, a big forearm smash from Daniel Miraculous. As I mentioned earlier, that's not a regular forearm there. Big running right knee 
Right across the face, the temple of Johnny Ewing. And Miraculous could have this one. He decides to go up to the top rope instead. Johnny Ewing up on his feet before Daniel could jump. Johnny now going on the middle rope. Joining Danny Miraculous in this high risk maneuver. A big headbutt almost knocks Johnny loose. A couple more and a shove. Down goes Johnny. Johnny right back up on his feet. Oh, Daniel catches him. A blockbuster. Does he get it? Oh, a kick out at two. The referee right there in the action. Saw the shoulder get up. Very last point one second. Another couple firing the right forearm shots. Swing and a miss from Johnny. Oh, tries to go over with that. Daniel wants to go over with that. Bama Serpent. Johnny catches him and a Death Valley driver. The DVD can he win at one, two, and three. That's it. Ladies and gentlemen. I know Dwayne didn't think that I would let him get away with that win the way that he did last week. I can guarantee that if he didn't have the Dwayne White Company, I would have put him away in less than two minutes. But this week, I get a rematch against Dwayne. So, without any further ado, I'm not going to do any more talking. I want him to come out here and leave his slackies in the back. Because after I'm done with him, after I'm done with him, I'm coming for Johnny Ewing. And X, well, X marks the spot on that. I don't care what you ask for. Of course. You know, Jerry, you haven't heard anything, have you? Apparently not, and I know exactly why. You haven't learned anything. Because you was not right. You need to shut up. Now, I slapped the hell out of you last week. And I will slap the hell out of you again tonight. If I wanted to. And I dare someone to do something about it. But you know, Jerry, you need to not allow these fans to boost up your ego. Because despite what these fans think, you're not all that. I've seen a lot better. And I don't see anyone begging you to be on Fitness Magazine. I'm sick and tired of people like Jared and Simba who walk around here like they own something. Let me tell you a little secret. You don't own a damn thing. Yeah. And I guarantee you, Dwayne White is what it is today. And the Dwayne White Company is going to take over DCA. And as for tonight, Oh. Oh, wait a minute. That's terrorizer number two in the ring, and Simba. He's had his own personal vendetta. It's a Dwayne White company. Simba's looking to challenge Dwayne White in that steel cage match. Oh, from behind. Jared X. Rollins pounding away at Dwayne White. This is champion versus champion. VCA television champion Jared X. Rollins going up against Dwayne White, the VCA hardcore champion. Non-title matchup. We'll see who will get the best of each other here. 
between Dwayne White and Jared X. Robbins. Two of the premier VCA champions. Jared X. Rawlings running in. And Dwayne White in the corner. Big splash there. Right arm swings. Jared. Spinning head scissors. Dwayne White goes down, tries to make his way back up to his feet. Staggers in the corner. Jared charging in. Big drop kick. Followed by a snap mare and a kick to the chest. Standing moonsault gets a two count. Relatively early on in this matchup. Jared X. Rawlings on his A game lately. Except for last week. When Dwayne White got the best of him. Albeit even if it was due to the interference of the Dwayne White company. Whoa! The big, looks like he was going for a, some kind of leaping hurricane run, but Dwayne White powers it down into a power bomb. Dwayne White throws Jared into the corner. Uh-oh. Dwayne grabbing Jared, smashing him in the top turnbuckle. A couple shots to the at the kidney there. So calculated shots. Big suplex. And a kick out at two. Jared gets thrown to the outside by Mr. Dwayne White. Oh, Tara Rex stopping away at the shoulder blade of Jared X Rawlings. Referee has his back turned. Tara throws Jared back inside the ring. He just shake the referee's hand. I think there's gonna be some kind of tomfoolery here. Lane White with the Irish whip to Jared X. Rawlings and a big drop kick. And a cover gets a two count. the fans here excited for Jared X Rawlings going for that quick draw DDT Dwayne counters it ripcord lariat puts Jared down center of the ring Dwayne looking to capitalize we've seen him with the win last week oh look I slap it around Jared X Rawlings Right in the back of the head, disrespectful. Our President Dwayne White. Another shoulder tackle in the corner multiple times. And a chop to the chest. Wow. Dwayne White's got a mean streak in him tonight. Big back elbow. Jared down in the center of the ring. Jared might be battling a migraine tomorrow morning. Courtesy of the Dwayne White Company. And a DDT, adding insult to injury. Dwayne White going for a cover, looking for an easy win, but it gets a two count. Jared X. Rollins kicks out at two. Despite the beatdown he's been getting from Dwayne White. Jared not one to give up. He is a television champion for a reason. He defeated Tank, the Golden Goose, to the Royal Flush for that television title. Oh, a big roundhouse kick across the head. Staggers Dwayne White. I don't think he knows where he's even at. Reverse DDT. New maneuver there from Jared X. Rawlings. And running, shooting star goes for the cover and a kick out of two. This champion versus champion matchup continues here in VCA.
But will it continue for long? Jared X. Rollins going for Looks like he was trying to go for that kill shot. Said enough for it. Wait a minute. Could be the same result from last week. No. Jared X. Rollins gets out of it. And a kill shot to Dwayne White. Jared X. Rollins gets his revenge. The bell tolls. Wait a minute. Jared X. Rollins jumps to the outside, but you see the strength of Johnny Yuri catches Jared and ooh, spine first into that steel ring post and against that guardrail. Big jump on the outside. This is not a sanctioned contest. We'll see that cage match next week at a broken horse. Johnny Ewing grabbing that cowbell, ringing in the ears of Jared X. Rawlings. Yo, ooh. Goodness gracious, you can hear their whips. You can see the marks on the back of Jared X. Rawlings. Johnny just whipping Jared with that bull rope. John Ewing forcing Jared to get back up on his feet just to choke him. Oh, wait a minute, no. He's gonna hang him. Choking him out with that bull rope right in front of his own family. Referee trying to get a hold of Johnny. We're just seven days away from that steel cage. Television title matchup between these two. Oh. And a Death Valley driver to Jared X. Rawlings. Can somebody take control of this? Johnny Ewing ringing the bell. What a statement made to Jared X. Rawlings. Uh -uh. He makes us look good on TV. He looks so bad, so standing next to us makes us look <laughs> Somebody hate. Somebody hate. See, that's the problem. Y'all come here on Friday night, spend your money, run your mouth, just to hate. Wow! You spend your money to come here and hey, would you please shut your low budget, minimum wage, make the tail up for a minute? When you start making at least a hundred grand on salary job, then you can come. Until then, go get your stimulus, your income tax check. Oh, wait a minute. See, here's the thing. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You didn't get a stimulus check. I didn't get a stimulus check. You know what? We make too much money. I don't work a nine to five warehouse or a cashier job like some of you idiots. I, I had, I had the honor of playing in the MVP of film. And what I do, I call my mama because she said, "Book, it's a check from California in the mailbox." See, that's the type. <laughs> None of they business. They might try to rob me. Yeah, I think my auntie will rob me for that money. See, all I have to do is get on my phone or go in a mailbox and check my money. That's all. As long as I wake up on God's green earth every morning, I'm going to get paid. I don't have to go after to a master and pick cotton like some of you idiots in the warehouse every morning. I see a lot of them. Now, speaking of master and warehouse and cotton field, let's talk about these cotton field pickers that we got to fight next week. Start with the main cotton field picker idiots that's in their genetics, the Clarks. They were destined to be failures in life. It's genetically in them. Mike is a failure in life. He don't know how to be a man. He wasn't taught how to be a man. He wasn't taught how to be a man. And never will be. Black Cat is not a man. Daniel Morek was never claimed to be a man. So, we don't know who the mystery partner is. Hey, it could be Spencer. 
It don't matter who it is. But you know something? If the Clarks want to come out here and get dealt with, I told them last week, I will take my 4x4 four four and chain them damn Clarks and the other ones too, Lil' T. And we, I will chain you to my 4x4 four four truck and I will drag all you country pieces of crap to the Mississippi River. And then on that day, the Memphis crime rate will slowly go down. As they will slowly descend into the Mississippi River to the bottom. Now, they got the problem with Memphis. We get every Clark and them other things up out Memphis and send their country asses back to Mississippi where they came from. Maybe it'll be a better place. No, I wouldn't do Mississippi that bad. I actually like Mississippi. Send them to the worst place on earth. And you know where that is. The worst place on earth. Uh, tell them, Atlanta, Georgia. Now, <laughs> we're going to take everything else yes, outside. See, everything you said, everything you said was true from everybody receiving stimulus checks to the low budget, no good Clarks. Now speaking of tonight, we gotta take care of business against the Clarks, Black Cat, and Fear. Fear? Fear. 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 Oh wow. Alright, but hey, hey, we gonna play along, we gonna go with it. We're gonna go against the Clarks, Black Cat, and Fear. Who is Fear? Good. Who is Fear? But anyway. Exactly. But anyway, we're going to do what we say we're going to do because Tiny put us in this match tonight because he know he want to throw his weight around because he's the boss. He put us in this match tonight because he's the boss. But Tiny, it doesn't matter because it's going to backfire on you because it's going to be the same outcome. The Royal Flesh can't be beat. Yeah, the Royal Flesh cannot be beat. So, Tiny, do us all a favor. Do us all a favor and just pack your bags and go because I'm going to tell you what God loves and that's the truth. Your time is done. There's a new head at the table. It's and it's the golden goose tank. So speaking of that, go ahead, go ahead and bring out Tiny and friends that might be going ahead and make this nice short and sweet. Just go and bring them out. Bring them out, Spencer. Bring them out. Hey, and I want everybody to know in this building, if you big and bad and you want to try to roll flesh on the street, if I see some of you cotton pickers at Family Dollar or Walmart, it is on. I'm letting you know, if my boy Tad and Q, if we see you at Walmart or Family Dollar or at the car wash, we don't even see you at the gas station. I'll beat the hell out of you. Let you know. Don't run up and get done up. Don't run up and get done up. I'll just always do that to you. <laughs> I've never seen a cat pet a person before. Here we are, huge 10-man tag team matchup as advertised on our Facebook page. Starting things off for Team Tiny is Little T. Quite the warm reception here from the VCA fans here in the studio. Black Mama Q quick to put him down. Off the ropes. Whoa. Look at that! Both men showing that quick swiftness that only our junior beta wrestlers can do. Like Mama Cute, cowards away into his own corner, tags out, and in comes the Golden Goose. Golden Goose Tank squaring off here against Michael Clark. VCA Junior Veda champion. Clark winning that Junior Veda title from the Wolverine Tavis. Arm bar applied from the Golden Goose Tank. Michael Clark reverses wrist lock of his own. Right hand shot there from Tank breaks free from the wrist lock. 
And now applies a hammerlock to Michael Clark. Michael holding on to that shoulder as he gets pulled out of socket there. Look at that. Huge snapmare from Michael Clark. Goes for a drop kick. Thank you, boys, but hits it that time. Back elbow from Michael. Oh, going for some kind of head scissors. Tank catches him, brings him up. Michael tries to fight back. Able to avoid that power ball maneuver. Big insecurity to the side of the head of Tank. Followed by a big forearm in the corner and another big strike. Michael Clark's not done. Oh! Tank in there bringing Michael Clark down. Tank picking Michael back up. Tag out, in comes the Wolverine Tavis. Right hand after right hand into the skull of Michael Clark. These two men, Michael Clark and Tavis, won Feud of the Year. 2021 Charlie Awards just a few weeks ago. But things are about to change. There's a monster, Big Tani steps foot in the ring. Wolverine Tavis not scared whatsoever of owner Big Tiny. Oh, spits a piece of gum, lands right next to our announce table. Swing and a miss from Big Tiny. Ooh. Big clothesline, only takes one to knock down Big Tiny. Tiny right back up on his feet. Tavis does not realize it. Tavis still hot dog and grandstanding. Big headbutt there from the monster. And a hip toss since Tavis across the ring. And another one. Must have flown like six feet right there. Big splash in the corner. Tavis gets out of the way. Big strike from Tiny. Down goes Tavis. Off the ropes. Close line misses. Tavis evades, jumps back up, hits in the shot. Hits a shot in the back, I should say. Ooh, a big headbutt. To the shoulder, knocks Tavis down. Tavis looking for some kind of tab, but nobody wants to get in there with the monster. And a tag out, in comes Malik the Great and Little T. We've seen the greatest on earth go up against the Clarks on numerous occasions. Tonight is no different. Little T gets hit with a kitchen sink there from Malik the Great. Tag out, in comes Brooks. That's where that tag team comes into play. Swift shot to the face of Lil T. Lil T back up, scoop and a slam from Brooks. Brooks grabs the head of Lil T, throws him to the outside onto the concrete floor. Brooks now getting the referee's attention. Smacking Michael Clark across the wrist. Michael trying to retaliate, but on the outside, referee can't see it. Royal Flush beating down on Little T. You can hear the shots from across the studio. Little T now thrown back inside the ring. Referee looks like nothing's even happened. Golden Goose Tank gets tagged in by the Pharaoh Brooks. Big right hand shot to the face of Little T. Tag out, in comes Tavis. Oh! Big flapjack 
there from Tank. Big backbreaker. Davis on a roll here, along with the rest of the Royal Flush. Big chop across the chest, tag out, in comes Malik. Big chop there. Brooks now coming in. Another chop across the chest, and the whole Royal Flush is gonna do it, huh? This is how it's gonna be. Another chop to the chest, and in comes Black Mamba Q. Biggest chop of them all. Black Mamba Q. Little T's chest looking like hamburger meat at this moment. Chop after chop. And a right hand punch straight to the Bruce chest now of Little T. Little T trying to fight back. A couple shots in the midsection and Brooks cuts him off. Brooks, not a fan of the Clarks, not whatsoever. He doesn't like Little T, he doesn't like Michael Clark. Never has, and I don't think he ever will. Brooks talking smacks a Little T before hitting him with that neck breaker. In the middle of the ring, goes for the cover. Kick out at two. There he is. Brooks talking smack to Michael Clark. Oh! Oh, Brooks spitting in the face of Michael. Referee forced to bring Michael back to the outside. Another legal man. Cowardly move. Oh! Big clothesline. Down goes a little T. And the abuse continues. Farrah Brooks now inside the ring. Goes for the cover. Only gets a two. Little T, a fighting wrestler. Not willing to go down like that. Oh! Power bomb! From Malik. Michael in there to break things up. This matchup continues. Ten man tag team. Stop after stop. A free force to break it. I want to invite everybody to come on out to VCA Wrestling every single Friday night in the VCA studio, 4275 Winchester Road, Suite 3594. That's between Perkins and Goodlett on Winchester Road. Again, 4275 Winchester Road, Suite 3594. Back to the action. Oh, my goodness. I thought Little T was going to hit him with a 9 on 1, but Brooks gets up and retaliates. Down again goes Little T. For any ticket information for future VCA events, make sure to check out our Facebook page, facebook.com slash VCA. Wrestling. Sorry, it's caught up in the action here. That might be all it takes right there. Wheelbarrow stunner from Little T. Lil T's whole tag team cheering him on. Everyone eager to get a tag in. And tagging in comes Big Tiny. Big Tiny throwing Malik into the corner. Oh, he's got it by the throat. STO! Off the ropes! Oh! Tank 
sweeps the leg. Black Mamba keeps stomping at the shoulder of his own father. Speak about what the royal flush makes you do to your own family. It's like you have to abandon your own family, your own blood, to join the royal flush. Despicable. Royal flush has Big Tiny in the corner, choking him out. Referee trying to get Michael Clark in order. And he should be turning around, looking at the carnage on the other side of the ring. Next week, we have a 10-man tag warfare match inside of that solid steel cage. Royal Flush will go up against Black Cat, the Clarks, and mystery tag team partner. Who is it going to be? Oh! Face wash from Tavis. In comes Malik the Great now, the legal man in this matchup. Tag out, in comes the Pharaoh Brooks. Oh, big forearm strike to Michael Clark. Oh, I and mean, they're all gonna suplex Big Tiny. Oh my goodness. That took all five of them, but they did it. I don't think I've ever seen Big Tiny get suplex. Not in the five plus years I've been working for VCA have I ever seen Big Tiny get suplexed. Uh-oh. Brooks provoking the referee. Whoa, whoa. Black Cat Furious, back suplex now to Big Tiny. Black Mamba Q, whoa! Springboard Moonsault. Come on, fake tag. From Black Mamba Q, in comes Tank. Referee didn't see it, only heard it. Big Tiny getting dragged up to his feet by Tank and Tavis. Off the ropes! Double spine buster! Going for a cover and a kick out at two, if you want to call it that. Tiny got his shoulder up. Stopping the count, but I don't know if Big Tiny can take any more of this abuse from Royal Flush. And that sleeper hold applied. For fans watching on our YouTube channel, Make sure to like and subscribe. And follow for future VCA events, including archived episodes of VCA on WREG and Broken Hearts. Scheduled to air next week on Channel 3. will be available on YouTube at a later date. So be subscribed and keep a lookout. Ooh, big senton. From Tank. Big Tiny up on his feet. Tank turning around slowly but surely. 
Big Tiny in the claw over the head, but take break three before it takes a hold of him. And Inzy Gurry down goes the monster Big Tiny. Another cover there to his own father-in-law. Tiny on his knees. Tank. Tank, what are you doing? What are you thinking, Tank? He's gonna punch him across the face, no! Big Tiny catches him and a one-handed choke slam. So close to his tag team partner. He's gotta reach over and just tag someone in. Tank tags out. Here comes Black Mamba Q and a tag out to Big Motor. Big Motor, Rick Henry now, the new legal man, fresh in this matchup. Rounding away is Black Mamba Q. Whoa! Motor just slung Q across the ring. Bending off those ropes at going 60 miles per hour. Big Motor tries to do some kind of military press on Black Mamba Q. Q gets out of the way. Kicks in the back of the leg. Oh! Big slam to Black Mamba Q. Ooh, a big back elbow knocks down Brooks. Uh oh. It's full on mayhem. Here in the VCA studio, get wrestlers running to the back, wrestlers on the outside, and wrestlers getting their butts kicked in the middle of the ring. Courtesy of Big Motor. Tavis gets thrown to the outside by Michael Clark. Brooks has used that, that cane of his backstage without the referee seeing. Don't tell me to shush. I'm calling like I see it, Brooks. Uh oh, Big Tiny grabbing the throat of Black Mamba Q. Wait a minute. You can't use that cane, it's illegal. Oh, shot across the face. The big motor. Using that cane in this 10 man tag team matchup. This matchup is over, but the war continues. Little T now, going up against Brooks. You were there to save his partner's back. Do you think this is war? Just wait till next week at Broken Hearts. Referee trying to get control here. 